The holiday season is a time for miracles, and every year the School Sisters of Notre Dame celebrate a handmade miracle. In 1975, the sisters gave a giant pipe organ. They saved it from being demolished and moved all two tons of it to Our Lady of Good Counsel in Mankato. In this week's Finding Minnesota, we show you what it took to get the organ here and why it continues to age like a fine wine. In a chapel bigger than most churches is an organ bigger than most chapels. The music maker itself is nothing new. It's 142 years old to be exact, but the School Sisters of Notre Dame are always ready for a new take on its unlikely journey. From what I know, it does not happen very often, and it was just like the moons <laughs> got together to make this happen. As Sister Lucille Matuzic puts it, their old organ was a piece of junk. So when they got wind that St. Mary's Church in Boston was going to be demolished, and along with it, it's Johnson & Sons pipe organ, they pounced, sending a team of experts cross country to check it out. And they came back and said, we gotta get this organ. <laughs> it took weeks to dismantle, piece by piece, pipe by pipe. There are nearly 3,000 pipes in all. Its total weight is about two tons. And all of that was hauled 1,500 miles to Good Council Hill in Mankato, where manpower turned into sister power. This is me. That's you right there. That's me. Lending a hand. That many years ago. Sister Mary Kay Ash was part of a team, young and old, that spent weeks cleaning and polishing. A true sister act, if there ever was one. And so they're unloading the ceremonial first pipe. The organ arrived in pieces in July of 1975. Nine months later, it was finally ready. This is the organ after it was installed here in Mankato. Those who really like music and understand it will have a definite appreciation for, for a pipe organ like this. Hey, you hear about dog rescues and pet rescues? You guys are an organ rescue. <laughs> and we're so glad to do it. Sister Lucille is the regular organist and she pulls out all the stops, 45 of them in all. When I want the little beautiful sounds and I want just a clarinet and just a nice flute sound and then maybe just a diapason. Using her feet and fingers, what follows is sheer musical power. Up in the loft, seemingly endless rows of pipes release the sounds of music. Enough instruments can be heard to match a symphony. But I bet it's fun too, just let your hair down and, and really go to town on that. You know, when you open it up, the, the organ bench vibrates. So does pretty much everywhere else in the chapel. You won't hear Bruno Mars or Taylor Swift here. Rather, what Lucille calls sacred music. And there's a song for every season. During a time when more and more churches are going electronic, this organ continues to strike a chord with its biggest fans. Well, it's my idea of a miracle, right? And a labor of love for sure. And you just hope um, that it will continue on, that there'll be people to, to care for it and continue the beauty of it. Pretty impressive. A lot of those pipes were hand painted by the sisters, too. The School Sisters of Notre Dame paid $15,000 for the organ in 1975. Today, it's estimated to be worth nearly $2 million.